Listen to the Wind, the story of Dr. Greg and the Three Cups of Tea by Greg Mortensen and Susan L. Roth. We are the children of Korf. We live in a village in the mountains of Pakistan. Our families grow and gather the food we eat. Our mothers weave and sew the clothes we wear. We make up our own games and we make our own toys. We read our books and we write with our pencils. We study in the school that we help to build. Before our school was built, we had lessons outside. We wrote with sticks on the ground. That was before a stranger stumbled into our village. He was cold, hungry, and sick. We gave him tea and food and a bed near the fire. He told us his name was Greg Mortensen and that he was a nurse. He had come from the United States to climb our mountains, but he had lost his way. As he grew stronger, he helped to heal our sick. We called him Dr. Greg. Sometimes he sat outside and helped us with our lessons. He knew that our teacher came just three times a week, but that we still studied every day. When Dr. Greg was well enough to go home, he asked Haji Ali, our wisest man, to help him think of something special he could do for Korf. Haji Ali answered Dr. Greg with a puzzle. Listen to the wind, he said. Dr. Greg closed his eyes. From above the village on the high flat ground where we sat at our lessons, the wind carried our voices down the path. Dr. Greg heard our voices. He felt the wind blow cold against his face and he understood. Korf needed school. Dr. Greg promised to come back and help us build one. We watched him walk away until he disappeared into the folds of the mountain. One year later, we saw a man walking on the path far below our village. It was Dr. Greg. We all ran down to meet him. In Skardu, the nearest big town, he had collected the lumber, cement, and tools that we would need to build our school. But high above the Braldy River, we had only a single cable with a small box that could carry a person to our mountain from the next one. There was no bridge. Without a bridge, no one could bring the heavy loads of building supplies to Korf. So everyone worked together to build a bridge from our mountain all the way to the mountain on the other side of the river. Many months later, Dr. Greg and our fathers and friends crossed the strong new bridge carrying the supplies we needed to build our school. They continued to climb until they reached a place where we had piled a mountain of stones cut from our own mountains. Haji Ali marked the exact spot where our school was to stand. Our mothers carried water to mix the cement. The men began to lay the stones for our classroom walls. With our small fingers, we wedged tiny slivers of stones into the cement to make the walls stronger. Our school grew each day up from the high, flat ground where we used to write with our sticks. Finally, the men attached the roof. They asked Dr. Greg to hammer in the last nail. Our school was finished. It was time to celebrate. Our mom, Shur Taki, our wise man Haji Ali, our teacher Hussein, Dr. Greg, who kept his promise, Julia the librarian who brought our books, the craftsmen, the workmen, the porters, the grown-ups of Corp, the children of Corp, and even the yaks and the goats and the sheep all marched together to our new school. Shirtaki blessed the building. We ran into our school with Hussein, who now would come to teach us every day. We are the children of Korf. We live in the village in the mountains of Pakistan. We add and subtract. We read our books and explore maps. We are learning in the school that we helped to build. We are the children of Korf. Can you hear our voices? Listen to the wind. This book tells a true story. Greg Mortensen is a real person. And the children are real, too. Pakistan is a country in Asia. This is Haji Ali, the wise man who told Greg to listen to the wind. Here are the mountains. Here is a bridge that was built across a river. It was 284 feet across and 60 feet above the water. 
Here, the men carried heavy supplies 18 miles to the building site. Here's a picture of some of the men and children working on the walls. Here is the finished school. Dr. Gregg is helping to cook the feast for the school's opening day. And here's the librarian, Julia, who helped Corp's teacher create a library. This school was the first one Dr. Gregg helped to build. Since then, he has overseen 57 more schools built in Pakistan and Afghanistan. Building schools requires lots of help. Each community helps with planning, materials, and labor.